Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new topic and our new topic is SAP scripts. Now what are SAP scripts? SAP scripts are also also layouts in SAP. Means we will design the layout with the help of SAP script. When SAP evolved at that time, we only only have the concept of SAP script. At that time, whenever we want to design the layout, we always has to design the layout with the help of SAP script. But as the time evolved, SAP came up with the concept of smart form. Then SAP came up with the concept of Adobe form or PDF form. But at the initial level, when SAP evolved, then we have only only SAP scripts at that point of time. But still in today's date also, we have so many projects, those who are using SAP script. We have so many important SAP script are still still available, especially in SAP FI area like Dunning Letters. Still so many projects are using those script. So we will also also cover that topic SAP script. Now, what we will do, whatever the requirement we develop, with the help of smart form topic, same to same requirement, we will develop through SAP script also. Same to same layout, we will design through SAP script also. Parallelly, we will compare each and everything with the smart form. So that you can understand fully what are the advantage and disadvantage of SAP script over smart form or what are the advantage and disadvantage of smart forms over SAP script. So once the topic will proceed, you will understand fully which one is better in which particular area. Now, before we start with the SAP script, I will go for two important differences between smart form and SAP script. But once the topic will proceed, we will find so many differences. But these two differences, we will learn at the initial level of the topic itself. Now, what are SAP script? SAP script are client dependent, whereas smart form are client independent. We will understand this point. Suppose I'm saying, we have two, we have two clients. One client number is 100 and one client number is 200. Suppose you are working in a project in which in 100 client, we are doing the development and in 200 client, we are doing the testing. See, I'm not talking about quality or production system. You can understand in a way also, we have two clients of the development system itself. You can understand in that way. In 100 client, we always, always do the development and the corresponding testing of the same will be in 200 client. And many projects are following this approach. They have multiple clients. In one client, only development. In one client, the testing for the same. Suppose for the development system, we have two clients, 100 and 200. Now, in 100 client, you developed a script. You developed a script. Now we need to test also. We will test the script in which particular client 200 client. Now script is client dependent. Client dependent means whatever the script you developed in 100 client, it is in 100 client itself. 
it will not automatically come to 200 client. Whereas in case of smart form, if we develop a smart form in 100 client, in 200 client, it will come automatically. It will be there because smart form is what client independent. So whatever I will do in 100, it will be in 200 and I can do the testing. But whatever the script you developed in 100, it will not automatically come into 200 client. That's why we are saying script is client dependent and smart forms are client independent. One of the most important difference in any interview, if you tell, yes, script is client dependent and smart form is client independent, then person can easily recognize that you know the most important difference between a script and a smart form. Now the question comes, if we developed a script in 100, how we can do the testing of the same in 200? At that time, we need to do the client copy. We need to do the client copy. Client copy means from 100 client, we will copy into 200 client. And at that time, we will do the client copy through SCC1 transaction code. Anyways, at this point of time, I will not show you yes. But the most important first basic difference between a smart form and SAP script is whenever you develop a SAP script, it will be in that client as it is client dependent. If you want to do the testing in another client, you need to do a client copy, client copy through SCC1 transaction code. And whenever you will change the script, every time we need to do the copy to do the testing for the same. But in case of smart form, this is never, never the scenario. If I will develop a smart form in 100 client, I can easily, easily do the testing in 200 client because smart forms are client independent. Now, second most important difference, if you remember, whenever we activated thus, whenever we activate the smart form, it always, always generates a function module. But script never, never generate a function module. So these two differences itself, a complete understanding of that topic. So in case of smart form, while activation, it will generate a function module, but SAP script never, never generates a function module. And whenever we will go for SAP script, the transaction code for the SAP script is SE71. So we can design the script with the help of SC71 transaction code. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we start with, we started with SAP script. Now SAP scripts are also, also layouts in SAP. We will always, we can design the layout with the help of SAP script. That transaction code, for SAP script is SC71. Yes, SAP script was the first thing which SAP evolved, by which SAP introduced. Then we have smart form and now we have PDF form or Adobe form. What is the major differences between smart form and SAP script? Smart forms are client independent and SAP script is client dependent. It means if you are developing a script in one client, it will not automatically come into another client. We need to do a client copy. In case of smart form, there is no need for the client copy because smart forms are client independent. 
whenever we will whenever we activate the smart form it always always generates a function module whenever we will generate the sap script it will never never generate a function module now what we will do in the next video we will design same to same layout through sap script then we will call the sap script through the driver program also in smart form also we did the same to same thing so here also we will do same to same thing so that's it in this particular video thank you